Previously on Keller Frequency. Forrest, I have routed all 911 calls to come into you. Oh my god, I'm quitting my job. I'm quitting my job. I'm quitting my job. I'm quitting my job. You know what, Leslie? Just hold on for a second. I need to hold on. I, I have something very important to do. Let's go. All right. You know what? You know what? Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Looks like the night should be pretty easy from here on out. Sure. Right? Sure, 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 God, whatever the fuck you say. I, guess I don't believe you at now. all. At all. I could ask you some questions to kill the time? You're gonna interview me. Oh yeah, let's do it, baby. Sure about that? You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now. Exactly. And we're still all shrouded in mystery. Maybe, but is the mystery what is making you attracted to me, Peggy? Don't lie! You can hear it in your voice, okay? I'm scared that if I tell you about myself, We'll lose the mystery. See, look, 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 it says. Maybe I like being a mystery. Did it occur to you that maybe I like being a mystery? Too bad. Question one. Tell me Son about your bitch. family. What? Come on, Peggy. That, that's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Nope. Nope. Now that's too specific. Wow. Me and Forrest are on the same fucking wavelength, Do you dude. Have any I'm literally siblings? Mr. Nash. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Let's go. Oh, sorry, Forrest. Oh, I'm a lonely orphan. Um. Oh, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. Anyway, what about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making conversation now. Oh. Well, my folks went the same way as yours. Oh. Um... Oh. What happened there? My dad walked out when I was about 13. Oof. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. And, well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So, so I'm Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver You can got change that. You know that, right? And my mom didn't last long after you Legally, went. you can do I'm that. Sorry to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Sorry. Wish. I was just trying to be... It's okay. I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Ooh. Any siblings? Deep Peggy you law. mention that now? No. Not anymore. Rip. I had a sister, but I haven't seen her since before my dad... Hold yep. on. Oof. Oh god. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone Oh shut up. Oh. I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Me? You sure you don't want to go? I can't leave the booth while we're oh. on air. God man. Reggie's KFM regulation. Do KFM oh, regulations apply now? Oh Peggy. Oh my god. I'm gonna see Peggy IRL. Oh. Where is it Peggy? Peggy. Okay. Down to the first floor, then check the door. You just put it on the floor? Peggy, I'm not convinced Peggy exists. Second floor... Okay, where is the second floor stairway? I hate this. Have I, like, told you guys that I hate this? Oh, dude. What's up here? Fire escape? Fire escape that I am not allowed to touch. And it is also locked. That's... I'm pretty sure exes can't be locked. Like, that's like a legal thing, I'm pretty sure. A... tape? Act... wow, we got some... Is this mine? Alone? Is this my? It says congratulations on the new job, so like... Realistically, it's probably mine. Genie, I'm so proud of you make lots of friends and work hard, lots of love and... Who's Genie? Fuck. Who the fuck is Genie? Rock on, Gallows for Life, Jimmy... Jimmy and G... Genie and Carrie's... What the fuck was that? You heard that, right? 
Or was it all these? I I wasn't looking. That scared the fuck out of me. Bill was here. Nice, Bill. That's great. Jimmy and Jeannie. Okay, so who is Jeannie? Most likely to peak Mount Everest. Hot David Kyle weather. Just screenshot this just in case it becomes applicable later. Um, okay, well, I scared myself, so that's nice. Please stop it. Oh, shut up about the stickers. No one gives a shit. We're in a life and death situation. It's... We're past worrying about stickers. You know? Bob, I don't know how to say this, but I think we should see other people. I hope we can still be friends, though, Brad. P.S. You owe me five bucks for festival tickets. Oof. I would have just... Listen. If you're in that situation, it's really best to just take take the loss, all right? Lose the five bucks, okay? You're the you're already the one dumping them, right? Like, don't make it worse. Don't ask them for money. Are you fucking insane? Jesus Christ, man. Dateables. Barbara. Wait, what? Hold on, hold on. They're all Barbara. They all say Barbara. All oh, right, I should really just get the tape. Uh, I got distracted. You know, it happens to the best of us. Play on air. Oh, God. It's not going to be anything fucking good, is it? Can we lock this again? Oh, shit. At least close it. Make it look well. Because we are fully at risk. I'm just saying. I mean, the doors are locked, but... Peggy! We've got a problem. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. All right. Well, turn the music off and play it. If you, uh, listen, if I'm going to do this, it's your decision. I'm not taking the fall for it. I'm telling you right now. Vote in. Oh, wait, okay. This is not going to be good. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for life. Time to sit there. I will punish you. I'm going to enjoy this. I did not enjoy that. Jesus what Christ. How was that? How long did it take him to cut that shit up? Isn't he busy I... killing people? Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. Folks, the... Oh. <clears throat> Folks, the tape you just heard was passed through our door only moments ago. I don't know how or why that came through good, our good door. Good, good catch, Nash. Killer locked up, but be careful, Gallows Creek. Stay home and stay safe. Give us a call if you need help. You can get us on 911. <clears throat> I mean, you are right. Oh, God. Oh god, what now? 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 I'm gonna fucking freak. Hey, we had a call come in. Of course we did. Collar, you're on 189.16, The Scream, with Ash! Shut up and listen to me! Okay. Mr. Russell? What's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen! He's gone! The whistling man is gone! He's gone? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. Phone some buddies. We came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. We came back here. The door was shut, just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks, and well, there was a bunch of us, and we were all armed. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got him. Jesus, did you let him escape? Of course we did it. I demand you retract that accusation. Damn it, Maurice. Just tell me what happened with this plan of yours. This was not my idea. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. I braced myself and... Then? Then nothing. The room was empty. The door was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure? Oh boy, I'm starting to think he I'm was dead, you, and now he's locked. a supernatural killer, no which really makes it. our predicament Maybe. about ten times I mean, worse. I know it's Just crazy, saying. but if he's back from the dead, then... Peggy, you're not helping. Do you think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? 
It would explain things. I mean, how do we know he? I, I, I can't believe I'm talking shit on Peggy when I just suggested the same no thing. Way. That's so funny. Oh, I'm a dumbass. He seems really spooked. Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer who turned out to be a demonic spirit? Okay, listen, He's you don't know demon, that. Peggy. You really do not yeah, know that. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? I don't know, Peggy. I'm not. Fuck. Fuck. It's only been 64 minutes. We hit for like four or six hours. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie. <sighs> a helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. We have a Let's suspect a list? Break. Jesus I need you for Christ. a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there. Keeping My the colleague back. Peggy needs me. Peggy, I'm glad you're finally being honest about your feelings. Wait, what did I... What happened? What am I supposed to be doing? Play music? Here comes one of my favorites. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. You're right there. Why don't you do it? Just go get it. All right, Peggy. No, oh, nice. I got it. Either I got it anyway. Um, you're freaking me out, Peggy. Is this your confession? Play me Asa off air. <gasps> oh god. How do I play off air? Shit. Peggy. All right, I've got it. Did we forget an ad or something? I don't know. It was buried in my work mail. I only just saw it. See what it says. Uh, play me ASAP. Off air. That's Reggie's handwriting. And he wrote it in purple. And? Purple is Reggie's angry color. Who the, the fuck has an angry purple, color? He's really pissed off. But I love purple. You see, you know, me and just me and Mr. Nash here just he has an one and the same. Color. Oh, Forrest, I'll give you the Reggie rundown later. Right now, we need to play that tape. I will in a second. Let's fucking go. Nice. All right. How do I play off air? Oof. This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our agreement. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. And we've still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank, I don't want you as part of this debut, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash. Let's go, Mr. Nash. I'm all right, Roddy May. Let's go. Let's go. We got a Brit in the team. I will play it just for you, Roddy. I will find it. I don't know where it is, but I'll find it. I will straight away, buddy. I know, he's my buddy. Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. Oh, I love Roddy. I Will Always Find You was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. I'm a big shot, babes. And I can't believe he didn't tell me he sent you his new single. Well, he sends we me a lot of singles. Final breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to KFAM, not to me. Then it's gotta be downstairs at reception. Son of a fucking bitch, man. man. Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about, about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off him. Son of a bitch. Okay, fine, 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 fine. It's almost like I, I don't even feel like a DJ right now. I feel like a fucking 
a ball boy at a tennis match. I'm the fucking fetch and go guy. Okay, that, sorry, I got nervous for a second. Okay, Roddy Snatcher. Roddy Snatcher. Roddy Snatcher. Roddy. Lock for now. Fuck, ah, Roddy Snatcher. Roddy. Roddy. Roddy sn Snatcher? Roddy Snatcher! Fuck. <gasps> Dogs? Oh, it's kitties! So. Shit. Roddy Snatcher? No. Roddy Snap. No. Roddy Snap. No. Roddy? 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 Oh my god, dude. Is this where mail goes? Where the fuck? And I mean this nicely. Where the fuck am I going? If it got mailed to the station, it's probably still at reception. Check around there. Thanks. Pissing me off. You are pissing me off. I was literally just in reception. This must be it. Final breath. Oh. My tiny selection grows. Son of a bitch. Okay, fine. Fine. I thought that was a magazine. I hate my life. I don't fucking sign up this. I'd rather be in Chicago with five million listeners to deal with. In this place with fucking... Well, I was going to say 35, but it's going to be more than 35 tonight, isn't it? The whole fucking town's going to be listening. Hey, did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Yes, here it is. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. We've heard like two it seconds is. of it, babes, and but like. More importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Son of a bitch, I missed. Okay, 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 where are we at now? Where are we at now? And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Oh, Jesus. He just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. Of course I we really do. hope it's nothing oh, serious. Sweet. Well, it's, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. Evening, caller. Oh, Jesus. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. This is Murphy! <laughs> hey, Hello, hey, hey, Murphy. Uh, what Who do you the got for us fuck is Murphy? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Free today. <laughs> okay, alright. Man, being his daddy has changed my life. Good for Fernando. That's, that's great, man. That's, that's real great. Laugh. Most importantly, beating. Okay. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Uh, why the board? Uh, yeah, happy sure. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. And now, my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. Oh, can we not antagonize him, please? You think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Ruben, come face me, a true warrior at the gallows waste disposal plant. Oh, fucking hell, dude. This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes and Master Robbins told Joe. It's a scam! <laughs> it's a fucking scam, man. Whistling, man. Master Robbie is scamming. We don't even have a dojo. I checked the map. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, no. Jesus. Okay. All right. And well. And there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become. Our hometown hero. Jesus Although fucking Christ, man. that Master Robbie ad earlier, uh, well, don't get your hopes up too much. What I'm saying is a scam. Anyway, we'll be right back. I'm so good at this now. Peggy, does this make you horny? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. But you are talking to a man who has, has made 87 dunks since we've been on air. All right, just think that through. 87 dunks. Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? Pay. What am I doing? 
Time to play a commercial. Oh, okay. Well, we'll do this one then. You can go over here. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man. <laughs> okay. A devout Christian and a proud patriot. Oh, Jesus, here we go. Teddy Gallows Jr. is Gallows Creek. No, 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 he's like not. his father and all his fathers before him. Let me guess, he's a Republican? Teddy Gallows Jr. has worked hard to create jobs, improve infrastructure, and make Gallows Creek a good place to raise a family. Unlike current mayor, Linda Cartwright, Teddy Gallows Jr. lives in Gallows Creek. He's our neighbor. And he stands with Shit. our neighbors. Like Sheriff Matthews. He's probably in a big ass fucking mansion. Hold on. Peace, Mayor Cartwright is trying to force into early retirement. Oh, I shouldn't have played this one. He's dead. Shh. Well, Teddy someone kept him out of a job, I'll tell you that much. Dream. Does Linda Cartwright? I don't even know who Linda Cartwright is, bro. Junior, keep Gallows Creek a good American town. Help him become mayor. Take a swing. For Gallows Creek. Vote for Teddy Gallows Jr. My name is Teddy Gallows Jr. And I approve this message. Alright, good for you, Teddy. God, what a jackass. So I'm saying. 100% grade A asshole. Belinda Cartwright isn't super herself, but she's not. Yeah, we don't have any more of those ads to air tonight, do we? No, just the one. Good. I have to ask, though. Take a swing for Gallows Creek. Oh, he set the home run record for Gallows Creek High. Uh, of course. Oh, cool. He's stuck in fucking guys. high school. Yep, he played lots of sports back in the Jesus day. Jesus Christ, and he never man. Lets anyone forget it. Fucking right. hell. Let's just get back to the God, show. I hate him so much. Well, folks, hearing that reminds me that every vote matters. And I'm not voting for Teddy, really I can tell you that right now. Take a swing at Teddy Gallows. You mean take a swing for Teddy Gallows? Yeah, sure. Let's find out from our next caller. <laughs> you know what? I Who fucking respect that, Peggy. We got a caller. You know what to do. Uh, I do, but I don't want to. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. <sighs> Who's there? Who is this? <sighs> Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? Uh -oh. He's coming for me? Jesus. Hey, listen, Collar, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them, or...? We sure did. You're in safe hands. Okay. Okay. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, Collar? I'm Dr. Sullivan of Virginia. Sorry. Take some deep breaths, Virginia. You're gonna be okay. I won't. Oh god, Just this is horrible. Down. This one's Tell horrible. Where you are right oh, if now. I fuck this What's one up. Address? Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, maybe god. we don't say that on air. Is there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. There's just a fraternity down the street. You live by a frat house. Oh, they're the fuckheads that called me earlier. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Virginia, it's all making sense part? in my head now. It's all coming together. Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't. Any idea oh, where the frat might be? I didn't mean to do that. I didn't if mean I to do... Where she was, oh, shit. I, might I played know, crickets. But... Shit! Sorry, Virginia. That's rude of me. Takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order Peggy's takeout from? on, on the ball at Ponty's Pizza, probably. Um... Don't worry. We'll figure it out. I can't do this. Okay. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up. While we try to figure out what takeout to order, here's some music for your own midnight snacks. Ah, shit. I know him. You love him. This is Roddy Snatcher with his new single, Final Breath. I'm only putting this on for you, Peggy. Twenty pizza, right? Top of my head. Uh, well. 
A hundred! Woohoo! There's the barbecue place, grilling spree, and okay. you can order from Chalupa Cabras. No, it's Ponty's Pizza, oh, man. And of course we have Ponty's Pizza. That's it. I, I want think. Domino's. Alright. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. That is not what? a thing. There was a lot of competition back in the day. Oh fuck Things off, that's ugly. not a thing. Are it's you kidding story. me? But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys ordered from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. <sighs> you know, it's things like this that make me hate this town. Complain after you save her, Forrest. Listen, I'm gonna save her, don't you fucking talk any shit. Them? Check the offices for anything food related. I saw something food related earlier. Yeah. Downstairs, you'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Thanks babes. Peggy. I mean, Peggy. <laughs> Shit. God, where to start? What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? I would get pizza. We have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or. It's definitely Brad. <sighs> I just have to look around. I didn't like that sound. I definitely saw something about food. I, I may have even thrown it on the ground. Fuck that. I did throw a lot of stuff on the ground. A promotion, huh? Maybe if I find the pizza box. We've pinned our latest offers and deals on the outside of the box, if you want to read them out on air. Grilling Spree's new offer is terrible and vile. Uh, um, we think you should read our advert instead. P.S. A connoisseur like you needs to try our three-hour slow roast of pizza. Uh, that would be on fire. I'm just gonna put that out there. That it, you would, that pizza would be Chalupacabra. on fire. Lupacabra. No, fuck Chalupacabra, man. Frat boys would want pizza and garlic bread. That's what I would want. I, I mean, I wasn't a frat boy, but like as a teenager, I'd be like, pizza and garlic bread, please. What, fucking damn it. What else is it I'm looking for? Pizza box, pizza box, pizza box, pizza box. Oh, kitchen. She said to go to the kitchen. This, this is so stressful. Wait, wait, there's a kitchen down here? Is that through the stuff room? I don't know, let's find out. Let's go. Not particularly, this is... That's the kitchen. What? Wait, what are these other rooms? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, more stairs? Where does this go? Need a key for that. Lock. For now. Kitchen. Hello, hello, hello! Pizza. Nope. Uh, wait. Rooting through trash. This is a new low. Ooh. Interesting. Offer. I think moving from a Wonder station with well five million listeners to 35 listeners is probably out of order. Check with me back tomorrow. What if I don't want to check with you back tomorrow? What if I want to play it now? Wait, what does this say? One free beer for every point the Gallows High wins it by in Tuesday's big game with every order. 28? 28 beers 28 free beer that's crazy that's two and a half 12 packs no two and a third two and yeah two and a third two and a third 12 packs that's crazy i'm not built for this like what i'm digging through trash i know roddy snatcher and i'm digging through fucking trash i'm doing it all right peggy Find anything useful? I sure did. Oh, it's for the number. Okay, that's what I needed. I was like wondering why. Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Always. Let's make the call. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. You got it. Okay, Forrest, what'll it be? Call Ponty's Pizza. I you really hope it. I'm right. Oh, I really hope I'm right. <laughs> Auntie's Pizza is on the line. Auntie's Pizza, may I take your order? Fratman calling. We're in major need of foods for dudes. Uh, may I take your order? I need some garlic bread. I need the bread. Can do. Where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. 
And we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. The folks at KFAM are huge fans of Bonnie. Oh, yeah, huge. I should really call them and let them know. And now oh, we wait. Oh, God, I really hope that works. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. And guess which song it is, boys and girls? It's Roddy Snatcher. You'll like this next song. It's Roddy Snatcher. Which of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No. Wh where Just in general, be? man. Like, oh, Jesus. I mean, they're all pretty equal. You mean equally awful? No, equally good. But if I had to order, not Ponty. He's not Ponty. But I right. like garlic so, bread. Between grilling spree and chalupa cobbers. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good nachos? It can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Time to turn the music off. Oh, shit. Sorry. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And is this Goose? <laughs> oh, man. It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? <laughs> this is such a Goose prank. No, this is Forrest Nash, host of... Uh -huh. sure thing, Goose. Uh, listen, I need you to... Goose, come get beer. Your brother is awaiting for you. I'm not Goose! I... Uh, how can I prove this to you? Oh, let me get a second opinion on this. What the fuck is going on right now? Oh my god. The barbarian. What do you think? Why are these people named, like, people from the second century? <laughs> Sure, 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 sure. I can do that. Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay. I'll play the damn song. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, Rio Man. You got my attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you, just... Say no moving the house. Forrest, uh, line two. Uh, Hello. We haven't had a line two call yet. The stream. Forrest, it's the killer. Oh, that is loud. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, fuck. It's, it's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk. I what? What? Whoa. Oh, thank God for that, man. No, no, no worry. No, You're no welcome, worries, Virginia. Virginia. Jesus Christ, man. And thank Christ, you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes. Some wear sheets as togas. I love how they didn't know there was a killer there. They just came over hey, and Forrest, thought we wanted to party with Did you hear what her. Virginia said earlier? Clive. What was that all about? Yeah, that Clive freaks me out a little bit. I'll be honest. Do you know what she meant? There's I'm getting worse at this. There's a janitor here at the station named Clive. But... <gasps> Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, no. Right, it's an folks. inside job, man. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious How have I crime, helped everyone survive? I'm in. terrible it at this. Save lives. Like, I'm usually meantime, terrible at these games. Like we have another caller. Oh, for God's sake. Hello, hello, hello. 189.16. Shit. I'm so bad at my job. Hello, this is 189.16. The, the Scream. Scream. With me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. 
as a local small business owner, oh, for the love of God, man. Who the fuck are you? Roaming the streets of our fair town? Terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. Does that small business it's have a name? Safe, you keep family friendly referring place. to it. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, what small business do you own? Oh. I'm not really big on promotion. I feel like you're baiting me into it, so I think you are. It's Porsche's Pizza! How do I ha hang up on him? Hang up on him! Come on down. Peggy, Peggy, I hang up on him. Cut him off. Fuck this guy, cut him off. No, no free ads. Jesus Christ. I mean, I guess we can't be that mad at him. Yes, we can. Calling Ponties did say Virginia. All he did was deliver an order. I'm not mad at him. I mean, I am mad at him. I can be mad. He had no Look, idea. He wasn't good to help. He just trying to sell garlic bread. Somebody else on the line. Just oh, for God's sake! And let's keep going. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream, and tonight's 911 stand-in. Hi. Hello. Am I on air? Sure, yeah, indeed. Caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And are you related to R.L. Stein by any chance? Forrest. The master I of goosebumps. In the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show. I knew it. Up at the stars I knew I was going to need that. For her. You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. Oh God. We plan to get lost in the maze maze tonight. Is that a good idea? We take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. Are you going to fuck in a That's maze, I'm Eugene? Calling, I, I thought she. An hour ago. She's and dead, Eugene, probably, I'm gonna say. To how cool you play it. I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming, or wait and see? For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Ah, what the hell. Stay and wait. Forrest, that's a terrible idea. Eugene, please go home. Your parents must be worried sick. My parents are dead. Actually. You see, Peggy? You but, see? Uh, oh, jeez. You fucked it up. Yeah, I guess it's not the night. You fucked it all up, Peggy. What can I say? Hang on. I hear some rustling. I swear to God, if it starts whistling. After all. Molly! Don't, don't, I'm in don't, the don't, middle. don't. Oh, God. It'll take a little while to get here. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. It's, tomorrow. you fucked it up. Don't say Good thanks. Talk. Oh, they did say that! Molly can't whistle! Yes, 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 we heard about this before! This is supposed to be the best night of my life! Not the worst! Oh, dude. Um, 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 um. Stay calm, Eugene. We'll get you out of this. Yep, it's our job. Or I'm about to die a virgin! Listen, that is Eugene, not what we got time to worry about, Eugene. And call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I... I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry! Well, me when I'm trying to get free drugs. Peggy and I I'll do it for the Molly. Here's a track for all you lovers out there. It's Roddy Snatcher. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. How the hell am I supposed to get in through the maze maze? You know Barbara, our receptionist? She's a maze maze fanatic. Yeah, I already know that. I already here. know that. I was supposed to go with her last I took a screenshot, but oh out. fuck it, whatever. No, I'll go get it. I'll go fucking get it. What the fuck do I have? To oh my god. Why'd she change her mind? She went with that jerk Brad instead. Does everyone in Gallows Creek go on dates in the maze maze? A lot of folks do. Wait, did I just get. There's something nice about getting oh, lost. Oh man. And besides, there's not much else. Did to Peggy do. just curve me? Maybe we did she say. Barbara I wasn't listening. If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. Oh yeah, 151, baby. I'm so good at this. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara, you know, Barbara. Not helping, uh, Peggy. Really not helping. Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. God, help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception. 
never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ring any bells? Right, yeah. Peggy, Sorry, listen, I need to get this clear. No are you excuses. or are you not Just available? And, and help us. do you like men? <laughs> this, because I realize this has become a, a small linchpin. If you don't, we've got a real problem. Well, I mean, I've got a real problem. It doesn't affect you, but... I don't like these weird spooky noises that are playing when I go downstairs now. Not a fan. Come on, Maze Maze. Here's what I was looking for. Oh my god. Okay, so he's like, what? He's in the middle? And we need to get him out. Oh god, man. Hey, I'm not smart enough for this. What do I look like? A fucking navigator? Hold on. Any luck? Yeah, I found a map for the Maze Maze in the trash. Why was it in the trash? But never mind. It doesn't matter right now. I might be wrong. Um, Gordon Pick said you. you were away. He's on line one. Oh god, where is he though? Okay, okay, okay. No, let's talk to him this time. I'm getting slightly better at my job, I, I think. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. Oh Jesus, okay. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. I Jesus lost. Christ, man. I just ran and I, I don't know where I am. I'm at a crossroad facing a tractor statue. Oh. There are hay bales painted gold on my right. Okay, 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 okay. You don't want to go right. You don't want to go. You want to go left. Go left. Okay. Okay, alright. So that means you're facing three. And okay, you wanna go uh you wanna go backwards? Go backwards. Does he have a fucking fighter over? Does he have a chainsaw? I'm at a crossroads. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Okay, pitchfork statue. Pitchfork ahead. So you had a cro um Oh god, I would say left. Go left. Because then he goes that way, goes all the way down this this wiggly area, and I think it would be six and seven, which would be Scarecrow and Farmer Hat and Mini Barn. Right? That's he'll get to that crossroads. there's a tiny barn in front of me. Okay. Scarecrow behind me. Right. Uh, Scarecrow in front of you. No, Mini Barn in front of you, Scarecrow behind you. So, let... No. Right. Right, 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 right. It has to be right. Go right. And then you should hopefully get to... Uh, the corn silo. I can't run much more. I think. All the beehives, I'm not sure. I just passed Around there. a corn silo. Okay. Oh fuck, are you past the corn silo? So you're at this junction, which means you should be facing down roughly. You should be facing south, which means it would be a right, and that should take you right to the exit. Oh, I really hope I've not All fucked right. this up. Let's go! And my bike's still oh my here. god! <laughs> oh, thank you, Forrest. How has someone not died yet? I love you, Molly! Eugene, shut the fuck! This guy's such an idiot, that man. Was tense. I think I held my breath the whole time. Oh yeah, I'm sure it was super it was tense well, for you. Huh. Jesus Christ! Right. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Do you think Probably she's dead. okay? Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Oof. Oh, Eugene. You I hope we weren't talking on air there. Uh, I'd feel bad. Alright, I get it. It's 1.49. It's really only been an hour and 40 minutes. Jesus. 
We'll Christ. make sure to add the town librarian to our <gasps> list of suspicious Clives. Remember. Oh yeah, Clive. I forgot about that. Clive to stay alive. Next caller is up for us. Nice. So Good idea, away. Peggy. Good idea. Oh, cola, cola, cola. Caller, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16. The oh, scream. Hey. Wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, that's kind of you to say. Thank you. What's your name, Caller? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune? Sure. Long Ride Home. That old song? Sure. We got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. All right, Don't... folks. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna find that song. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but... Uh, we don't have it anymore. What are you talking about? I threw it away. You threw it in the dry? No, I... Uh, I threw it out the window earlier are today. Are you fucking insane? <laughs> Maggie, that's a bit extreme, isn't it? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. So I grabbed it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. Not Am I gonna have to go power, outside? But I can only take so Are you much. kidding me? I'm going to have to. <laughs> For shame, Peggy. For shame. I know. Let's just play a different song. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Gotcha. Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Oh, we, we're, just not, we're just not trying? Oh, okay. Well, guess what, listeners? It's more of a Roddy Snatcher. You're gonna love this next track. I hope there's an achievement for this, because this is of the only thing the I can do. Why did it have to be that one? Gee, Peggy, what did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song, for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> Why couldn't they just request Roddy? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. I've been playing Roddy for you all night. Don't bitch, Peggy. All I play is Roddy. Ever since I found the Roddy track, it's been Roddy, 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 okay? It's got nothing to do with the fact that I can't be asked to watching tracks, okay? It's all for you, Peggy. I suppose I should take this oh, call. shut up. Shut the fuck up. I'm taking Sorry it. Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nash. Forrest. Thank God, it's me again, Murphy. Oh, for the love of God. Hey, how'd it go, Mr. Dojo? <laughs> oh, the killer got me, man. What? I, uh, I told you it was a scam. Why does no one ever listen to me, man? No one Robbie. ever listens to me. I warned you not to. Hindsight is twenty twenty. okay? Forrest, we need to do something. Why did he not just kill you? I oh, sorry, that's rude. Life. I shouldn't say that, but like, I don't understand. Oh, is he, oh my god, is he setting anyone on fire? Oh, oh, now I, I understand. Now I understand. Well, okay, well, suddenly well, this is right this now. is all making you sense. Ah, jeez. Peggy, get the fire department on the line. On it. All right. Now just come on, pick up. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. What do you mean it's not operational? Why is there no backup vehicle? Oh my god, this town sucks so much dick. Oh, god damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. Listen, they can't do anything. my advice. More fire engines, more firefighters, nearby. more police. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. West and end of... Oh, Jericho Haddonfield, Myers, I like it. Myers Lane. Let's go. But he's... old really old oh fuck okay. jericho then I'll check um, the map, see who would be best to do this 
Okay, should we map this out? Um, I've forgotten everything she said. Fuck. I remember Maya's road, Maya's lane. Um, the waste disposal plant's here. And Catherine is... I think she's on this corner. So she's pretty close. Um, the other one was Haddonfield Road, but, it hadn't, but that's down here. And then the other one was over here, but he's old. I may have got this completely wrong. But I would assume if Catherine is here, she's closer. We're going to go with Catherine. All right, Forrest, who should I call? Who can help Murphy? Call Catherine. All right, give me a second. They're on the way. They'll call from the plant. You can wow. direct them okay. from there. I was expecting to hear a call, but that's fine. Jesus. They're just totally cool with that? They're just going straight away? You have some nice and brave friends, I'm just telling you that. Call coming in. It's Catherine. She and Murphy are now both on the line. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Hello, Catherine. Are you there? What, uh, what, what's happening at the plant? The whole damn thing is up in smoke. I... Oh, God damn it. I'm going in. I don't know if that's a good idea. Okay, well. <laughs> She's oh not gonna God. listen to me, is she? Jesus. Oh, that's what that's what we're worried about. Um, okay, um. Wait. Wait, where where I shit! I don't know wait, hold on. Alex Oh wow, all of this is here after I already God damn it. Okay, um Murphy, can you see anything at all? Yeah. I got a little flashlight. Okay, all right, awesome, awesome, awesome. That's recycling. Give me the what option does it again. Say on the newspaper? It's uh, the Henderson headline. What was that? My reception is terrible in here. Please, force, tell me where to go. You got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Recycling. Go to recycling. Recycling. Got it. Come on, Catherine. Murphy, do you know what part of the plant you're in? I'm in a dumpster, man. What do you want from me? <laughs> okay. Do you hear anything, Murphy? I hear my heart about to pound out of my chest. Put the receiver up to the lid. Put it up. Uh, that sounds like a crusher to me. Catherine, go to the crusher. Definitely not whatever the other one was, I've forgotten already. Okay, it's super loud. We're almost out of time. There are three dumpsters here. One for Gallows Creek Council. Henderson disposal. Henderson, Henderson, he said Henderson. He said Henderson. Open the Henderson container. So how is this going to end? Am I going to save all, like, as many people as I can and then he'll get pissed I'm saving all the people and then he'll come for me? Is that it? I don't know. If Peggy's in on this, I'm never playing this game again and I hate it forever. I can't really help you any further, so I hope you get out. If we kill both of them, that would be pretty fucked. I'm becoming way worse at this whole throwing it in the thing thing. What happened? What happened to me, man? I'm washed. Fuck, man. We made it. Oh, man. You saved my life. 200, baby. Thank you. Thank you. And, and I swear to you, now, I'm gonna race for an to be like you. Oh, that's kind of sweet, actually. What the fuck? Even though you're, you're a big old idiot, Murphy, there's no worries. Hell yeah! Fuck that scam artist! You just get home to your son, okay? Will do, Forrest. I think I'm the town hero now, let's go. Gallows Creek has two fun heroes tonight, Murphy and Captain. I'm sure their deeds won't soon be forgotten. Great job, sir.